Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Tatiana? Fine. Okay, that's great. And Amazing. you? I'm really good. Happy to see you today. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you, Jorge? Uh, fine. Okay, that's good. Amazing. You look tired. Uh, so, so. so, so, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, no problem. Carlos Alfonso, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, very good. Okay, nice. Very good, very good. Excellent. Good job. Uh, Gabriela, good evening. How Hi, are you today? good evening. Ah, so, so. So, so, more or less. <laughs> okay, okay. Life sometimes, uh, you know, is like that, but we have to face it. Okay, Jose Angel, good evening. How are you today? Jose Angel, I think Jose Angel is connecting right now, right? Okay, students, we're gonna wait a minute for the rest of the students. Okay. Okay, Miguel, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, that's good. Cool. Okay, very good. Okay, students, uh, <clears throat> did you remember that we were talking about what yesterday class? De que hablábamos en la clase de ayer. Can, cannot. Can and cannot, right? Okay, very good. Eh, con can y las terceras personas, pasaba algo o se quedaba igual? Igual. Igual. Yeah, igual, very good. Nice. Solamente eh, si cambia pregunta, das y das. Y don. Das y. Ok, ok. Hmm. Ok. Uh, when we got a question. Okay, Tatiana. <clears throat> Ese era con have y has to. Yep. ¿Se recuerda? 
Ya con quién eh, preguntábamos directamente. Que... Sí, no, 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 no tiene nada que ver. Yeah, yeah. Sure. That's good, that's good. Era solo para refrescar la mente. Ok, okay gracias, Tatiana. Really good. Ok, William, good evening. How are you today? Very good, teacher. Ok, ok, I hope so. Good evening, Fabricio. How are you? Fabricio, how are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, okay really good. Nice. Uh, okay, very good. Okay, students, um, we're going to start with today's class. I hope you're ready. Great. Because you look sad, you know, like this. Teacher, I want to sleep right now. <laughs> I need to have something to eat, right? <laughs> but uh, we have to learn something new today, right? Okay, let's get started with today's class. And we're going to start with this. Yep, okay, here we go. Okay, students, um, we're going to start with uh, the warm up activity, right? At the beginning. Uh, did you remember that yesterday class we were talking about can? and can't or cannot, both, right? Uh, you can use can for what? Uh -huh. Information and per permission or permission. Permission, yeah, really good. Thank you, Carlos Alfonso, really good. Okay, okay, give me a minute, give me a minute. Okay, students, uh, I'm back, right? Okay, really good. Uh, let's see, uh, we were talking about can, cannot, or can't, the negative, right, of this. We can use can for permission or information. Really good. Uh, we have an activity. Lo que vamos a hacer es simple, right? Here, we're gonna have um, some words. And you have to answer me if the, according to the picture, if the people can do the action or not. De acuerdo a la imagen, me van a decir si esa persona o el muñequito que aparece ahí puede hacer la acción o no la puede hacer. Si la puede hacer, me van a decir, yes, he or she can. Si no la puede hacer, no, she or he or they can't, right? Okay, really good. Here we go. Okay, what's happened with this, Gabriela? Uh, open the door. Open the door, really good. And what's happened with he, this? He cannot. He cannot? Uh, open the door. Okay, really good, amazing. Good job. Okay, uh, this happened to me sometime, right? When I forget the key. Okay, really good. Uh, let's see the second example. Okay, uh, William, ready? Ready. Yeah, no, you're not <laughs> Okay, okay, that's good. Okay. Write a letter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yes, he can write a letter <laughs> okay yeah really good yes he can write a letter really good okay that's good okay student as you see uh, it's really easy uh, to use can for information or permission right okay very good i don't know if you have a question about uh, last topic questions no questions no questions okay really good <clears throat> okay uh Okay, good evening, Jose Angel. How are you today? Okay, Jose Angel nos tuvo miedo ahí. Okay, really good. Let's continue with this. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to continue with unit number one. This is uh, module four, right? And the topic for today's class will be how to use 
Bitcoin tool, right? How to use Bitcoin tool. Uh, this is related to what? ¿Qué entienden por Bitcoin tool, student? Ajá. Lo que haremos. Lo, lo que hará. Lo que haremos, really good. Now, it's going to talk about future time, right? Yes. Okay, really good. Okay, let's continue with this. We got two objectives for today's class and we do all the time. So we're gonna start with the first one. Okay, uh, let me see Jorge, help me to read the specific one. Okay, uh, can you, uh, yeah, yeah. Specific. Part yes. We'll be able to ask and get information about one or other shipment. Okay, really good. Thank you, Jorge, really nice. Okay, good pronunciation, right? Okay, uh, now let's see, um, Fabricio, how would you read the class objective? Okay, this one. Class object, objective. Yep. At the end of the class, participants will be able to know how they use the be going to. Okay, really good, nice. Thank you, Fabricio. Okay, student, basically today class, we are going to talk about uh, how to ask and give information about shipment, shipment, right? Uh, do you have an idea what does shipment mean? <coughs> no? Okay, okay, no problem. We're gonna see in a minute, right? Okay, also we're gonna see the use of the coin tool. We're gonna start with this. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, ¿Les parece si pasamos la lista en unos cinco minutitos? Para ir avanzando. Yeah, okay, in five minutes, right? Yes. Okay, okay, that's good. Teacher. Teacher, what is shipment? Okay, what is shipment? Okay, that's a really, really nice question, Carlos. Envío. Uh, okay, uh -huh. Envíos. Envíos. Uh -huh. Yeah, really good. Uh, in the useful sentence or words during the class, we're going to see these two words, shipment. Shipment and tracking number. Vamos a empezar con esta, tracking number. Tracking number. What is this? El número de guía o seguimiento. Okay, número de guía o seguimiento. Muy bien, like this, right? Okay, um, es el número de rastreo. De guía o de seguimiento. It's okay, really good. Eh, pero ma más, mayor parte del tiempo le llaman número de rastreo. Tracking number. Eh, es el número que le da el seguimiento en el destino que va saltando su paquete. Muy bien, really good. Shipment, ¿me decía que se llamaba? Envío. Envíos, really good. Thank you, Fabricio. Envíos, really, really nice. Shipment son envíos en general, like this, right? Eh, do, you, do you know a company who works uh, as a shipment? ¿Conocen compañías que trabajan con, con, con shipments? Ups. Yes, yes, Urbano, DHL. Urbano Express. Ok, yeah. DHL. Eh, ajá, ¿cuál otro me dijeron? Aeroflash. Aeroflash. Mandaditos de Urbano Express. Ok. <laughs> <laughs> Entre otros, right? Ok, uh, we get a lot of achievements business. Okay, really good. Uh, good evening, uh, Marlon Ernesto. How are you today? Very good, teacher. Very good. Okay, nice. Amazing. Okay, Jose Jimenez, how are you today? Nice, teacher. Okay, good. Ahí, Jose Jimenez, le apagaron la luz. I don't know. Uh, lo, lo, de, lo de siempre. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Jose Angel, how are you today? Uh, 
Ajá, José Ángel, how are you? Ah, ok, ok. Amazing. Ok, that's good. Ok, thank you, José Ángel. Ok, really good, the students. Um, ok, we got these two words, tracking number and shipment. Please uh, try to say this word, tracking, 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 number, tracking number, right? Tracking number. Okay, now we're gonna have shipment. Shipment. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Let's uh, continue with this. Okay, um, we're gonna practice reading a skill. <coughs> Eh, recuérdense que la practice make perfect, right? If you practice um, to the reading skill or the speaking skill, you're going to be able to increase your knowledge easily, right? Okay, students, uh, we get a sample of how uh, we're going to check this information in the following chip and label, right? This is a label. Ya saben que es label? Etiqueta. Yeah, etiqueta, really good. Thank you, Fabricio. Fabricio ha venido con todos. Okay, that's good. <laughs> label, label, etiquetas. Eh, cualquier etiqueta que usted ve en una a bottle of water, a computer, uh, in a boxes, eh, cualquier etiqueta, all the time gonna have important information about the product, right? Todo el tiempo tendrá información importante y específica de un product. Ok, really good. Ok, uh, let me see. Ok, we're going to practice reading a skill. Vamos a practicar eh, cómo leen todo esto. Eh, tenemos algunos números, así que espero que se sepan los números hasta un millón, dos millones, three millions, billions, and so on, right? <laughs> Ok, I'm just kidding, right? Eh, esos números se pueden decir de dos en dos o de uno en uno. Es más normal escucharlos de dos en dos, right? Así que don't worry. Ok, uh, please, first you have to listen to me, then you're gonna say it by yourself. Ok, eh, tenemos from and to. From, eh, it means de, de parte de quien va. Ok, to. Para, right? Para, para quien va dirigido. Okay, in this case, we get it uh, from Travers, INC 23, Glenway, San Carlos, CA, 0570, made in the US, right? And it's going to Literal Road, uh, number 34, La Unión, El Salvador, right? Pasa cerca de acá por donde yo vivo. Ok, muy bien. Really good. <laughs> Then we got uh, some numbers here. Uh, you can say it like this. O, 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 zero, zero. It's, uh, it's going to be normal uh, like O, O. Es más normal como O, right? O, double O. 12, O, one. 34, 23, 3. Easy, right? And the same happened here, right? Uh, 01, luego, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> okay, 9, oh, or 9, 0, right? 43, uh, 23, 2, right? 23, 23. Okay, that's good. Then we're going to have the tracking number. This is really important, right? Tracking number. ¿Qué significaba tracking number? Número de seguimiento. Okay, número de seguimiento. Yeah, really good. <clears throat> okay, I'm sorry. In this case, students, este número de seguimiento es muy útil. Imagínense que ustedes eh, buy something from eBay. Eh, y ya se tardó tres meses en venir. ¿Qué es lo primero que van a hacer? To look for the tracking number, right? Van a buscar el número de rastreo para verificar si ya arribó a 
El Salvador. Ok, o por dónde viene su producto. Eh, in this case, it happened the same, right? O, 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 double O, 12, O, 1, 34, 23, 3. Ok, then we got the quantity. Quantity. What does it mean, quantity? Cantidad. Yeah, really good. Uh, we got as uh, 65, right? Units. 65 units. units. Yeah. Shipment. Shipment. Es el... Envío. Envío, yeah. The number, right? 7A4. Yeah, really good. Nice. Then we're going to have sender. Sender. <clears throat> This is another number. AB. Seven. This one. Yeah. Okay, really good. And this is the same number from here. And then we're going to have a date. Hoy luego pasó esto, así que don't worry, right? On December 4, 2013. Okay, really good. And this is uh, 120 dots, right? Okay, very nice. Okay, students, what I want you to do right now is you're going to try to read this. Okay, you're going to have 40 seconds. Intento leer todo esto. Luego, I'm going to mention or choose a name that you have to read a part of this label, right? Okay, you're going to have 30 seconds. Just uh, try to read it, right, by yourself. 30 seconds, intente leerlo. If you got a question about uh, words that you don't know how to say, please let me know. Okay, go ahead. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay, you got it, right? <laughs> okay, students, uh, we're going to start with Miguel Crespin. Miguel, okay, okay uh, please read from. From Traverse in 23, Glenway, San Carlos, CA 0570, made in USA. Okay, really. Yes. Thank you, Miguel. Really good. Okay, Miguel, or somebody uh, who know what does it mean, ink, ink. Ink. Yeah, what's the meaning of this? Alguien sabe, or Miguel, you know? Um, incorporated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something like that. Uh, okay, so the, I'm going to try to explain it in an easy way, right? Cuando vean este ink, eh, es como una business, right? Es un negocio de lo que sea que vean ahí. Como cuando nosotros acá eh, decimos eh, la corporación, no sé, de un nombre de, de una empresa, right? Es something like that. Eso es importante reconocerlo porque sabemos que viene de una empresa y no de una persona individual, right? Yes. Okay, really good. Uh, I'm going to continue with this. Tatiana, please read this. Two, literal graph, uh, number 34, no. La Unión, El Salvador. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Tatiana. Really good. Okay, very nice. And uh, let me see. I'm going to continue with the This one, uh, Marlon Ernesto. Key number. O, O, one, two, O, one, three, four, two, three, three. Okay, thank you, Marlon. Really good. <laughs> okay, amazing. Okay, Marlon, can you repeat this word? Chunking. Okay, tracking, tracking. Uh, tracking, tracking. Tracking number, yes, tracking number, really good. Okay, okay, okay very good. Uh, we're gonna continue with this, William. Help me to read this. 
quantity 65 units. Okay, continue with this. Shipment 784. Okay, thank you, sir. Really good, William. Okay, Jorge, this one. Sender A, B, C, T, 7, H. Okay, really good. Amazing. Okay, uh, we're gonna finish with this long number. And let me see. Uh -huh. Carlos Enrique. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I don't understand because I acabo de entrar. Ah, ok. <laughs> ok, no problem, right? Ok, solo queríamos preguntarle cómo estaba Carlos Enrique. <laughs> fine, fine, thank you. Ok, you're welcome, right? Ok, uh, let me see. Uh, ok, uh, José Jiménez, tell me to read this one. Uh, out on, night out. Uh, 33, 23, 23. Okay, okay, really good. Yeah, nice. Congratulations, really good. Okay, students, so basically this is a label, a shipping label. This es una etiqueta de envío. Es lo básico que lleva. Casi siempre el, uh, the most important part is from to, right? And the tracking number. Uh, some specific information about the product and so on, right? I don't know if you have a question about these questions. No questions? No question. Okay, okay. Good. No question. Really, really good. Okay, students, if you don't have any questions, right now we can... Um, um, vamos a pasar lista, right? Okay, let me see. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? And when I say your name, you have to say present, right? Okay, well, I'm here, teacher. Veamos, eh, Jaime Ernesto Hernández. I think Jaime Ernesto, eh, it's not gonna be in our class. Okay, uh, Jose Vladimir Jimenez Escobar. Present. Okay, really good. <laughs> Sabía que estaba ahí. Okay, Carlos Enrique Martínez. Present. Okay, really good. Uh, Wendy Saraí Bonilla Ordóñez. Okay. Bueno, continue. Uh, José Ángel Santos Martínez. Present. Okay, really good. Eh, Gabriela Merari Zamora Orellana. Ok, Gabriela. Eh, estaba Gabriela hace un momento, creo que tenía problemas de internet connection, right? Ok, uh, let me see. Jorge Alberto Ortiz Molina. Present. Thank you, sir. Um, Carlos Alfonso Alvarado. Present. Good. Uh, Fernando de Jesús Roldán. Ok. Uh, let me see. Carlos Antonio Mejía Hernández. Ok. Continue with this. Uh, William Alexander Martínez Enríquez. Present, teacher. Ok. Thank you, sir. Uh, Marlon Ernest, uh, let me see, Miguel Alec Angel Alexander López Crespín. Presente. Really good. Uh, Marlon Ernesto Rodríguez Sandoval. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Uh, Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla Vázquez. Rodrigo, okay, Rodrigo. Let me see. Um, Clarisa Yamilet Quintanilla. Ok, 
Okay, Clarissa, are you there? Clarissa, you have present, right? Present. Okay, thank you, Clarissa. Really good. Uh, Daisy, Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez. Daisy. Okay, no está aún. Okay, Daisy ha tenido un pequeño ahí eh, health problem, right? Tatiana Ivonne Torres. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Tatiana. Eh, Marvin Ernesto Alfaro Campos. All right. Okay, and Carlos René Herrera. No? Okay, and Fabricio Alexander Jimenez Herrera. Your teacher. Okay. I hear. Thank you, really good. And Gabriela. I'm Gab here. <laughs> okay, Gabriela, ya, ya está un poco afligida. Okay, don't I worry. I have problems with internet. Okay, okay. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. Okay, Carlos Mejia. Antonio Mejia Hernandez. Present. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, Carlos. <laughs> really good. Let me see. Okay, students, I'm going to continue with today's class because of the time. Really good. Vamos a pasar list uh, uh, in a minute. Later on. Right now, we're going to continue with uh, our class, right? Okay, let's uh, continue with this. Okay, students, now we're going to practice your reading skill, right? We're going to continue doing this. What we're going to do here, eh, ya vimos la shipping label, la etiqueta de envío. Eh, we see some information. Now we have to answer the questions. Okay. Eh, Se recuerdan, right? De quién, para quién, from this company to this address, the tracking number, quantity, shipment, and the date, right? Okay, uh, we're going to start with the first questions. Uh, what is the shipping address? Somebody who got the answer of this. Okay. ¿Quién tiene la respuesta? Number one. O, o me hacen la o, o me hacen la, la pregunta, yo les doy la respuesta. Uh, we can switch if you want. Soy el front teacher, no. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. It will be. La dirección. Front. Yeah, yeah. La dirección completa, sí, sí. Yeah, sure. Tell me. Uh, from Travels Inc. 23, yeah. Greenway, San Carlos, CIA, yeah. 0570, made in the USA. Okay, I'm really good, Fabricio. Congratulations. Good job. Thank you, sir. Okay, nice. Uh, we're going to continue with question number two. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Read and answer these questions. Uh, what is the mailing address? Uh -huh. uh, is uh, ro literal rock? Yeah. For La Unión El Salvador. Okay, yeah, really good. Like this, right? Yes. Yeah. Congratulations, really good. Okay, we're gonna continue with uh, number three, but before to continue with question number three, we get a shipping address, mailing address. Shipping address is the key la envía, right? Uh, what the company or the person. And mailing address to the person who gonna receive the product or the company. Es a quien va dirigido la dirección de entrega de ese paquete. Muy bien. Envío y entrega. Really good. Question number three. Uh, let me see. Um, Tatiana. Tatiana. How many units are in the package? Package. Yeah, yeah. 
<risa> eh, creo que eran sixty eh, five, creo. Yeah, really good. Five uh, units. Yeah, congratulations, really good, Tatiana. Nice. Okay, and the last one, uh, let me see, uh, Carlos Alfonso. Want to participate? <laughs> okay. What is the man manufacturing date? Yeah. Uh, creo uh, 24 March 1212. Oh. No. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. 2020. March. 2020. Okay, this one. Ah, okay. 12, 12 March uh, 2012, 20, 20, 13, 13, 13, 13. 2013 or 2013, right? Okay. Okay, okay very good. Nice. Thank you. Really good, Carlos. Okay, students, okay. as you see, um, now we are able to understand this basic question, right? Todos comprenden estas preguntas básicas. Yep. More or less. If you don't understand, you can ask me. Uh, instead of this, uh, you're going to have students on Wednesday, one hour, you can ask me whatever you want about the class, right? El miércoles tienen una hora para preguntarme lo que ustedes desean. Ahí son 10 minutos per person. Eh, el refuerzo de ayer me fue bien, solo entraron dos, <laughs> dos o tres, así que ni modo, right? But you have to uh, take an advantage of that. Tienen que tomar ventaja de eso y aprovechar ese tiempo que es for you guys, right? Okay, very good. Uh, we're going to continue with this because, um, okay, did you remember that yesterday class we were, we want to work uh, with a listening skill, but we couldn't, right? Okay, right now we are going to practice this. We're going to listen to a man and a woman that's having a conversation about renting something, right? Okay, yeah, very good. Let's go to this part and try to listen to the conversation. And then we're gonna answer the questions together, right? Okay, vamos a escuchar esta conversación y luego las eh, vamos a resolver juntos. Okay, very good. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this one. Okay. Hey, Kathy, I'm thinking. Of Did you hear the audio? About renting a movie. Yeah. Okay, okay. We're going to start again. Okay. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Let's listen to this conversation. Hey, Kathy, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party, and I want to know what kind of movies you like. Okay. What kind of movies do you have in mind? Well, what about action movies? I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. Okay, do you like comedies? Now, I do enjoy comedies. Fine. Well, what do you think of horror movies or love stories? Um, I'm not really crazy about horror movies, but love stories are often fun to watch. Oh, and I really like foreign films, too. Okay, I'll go to the video store and see what I can find. Thanks. Okay, okay. Did you understand? More or less. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, students. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, yep. <laughs> okay, uh, unfortunately, a uh, native speaker speak like that. You know, really fluent, uh, faster than we do. So that's why we have to adapt our listening skill, right? Okay. Primer lugar, de qué estaban hablando? What are they talking about? Uh -huh. uh, Gabriela, uh, I understand Gabriela lips, right? <laughs> okay. The movie. 
Ah, uh, movies, right, really good. That movies, they were talking about movies. Uh, first point, llegamos al primer punto. Uh, they talk about action movie, comedies, horror movies, love movies, and foreign movies, right? Uh, did you understand this word? Foreign, no. Foreign, no. Foráneo. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Fabrice. Foráneo. Foráneo, okay, okay. This is like a extranjero, extranjero, una película extranjera. For example, a uh, nosotros nos gusta the American movies, right? Y a veces pensamos y decimos, vamos a ver esta película extranjera que es de España o Brasil, I don't know, right? Okay. What's happened here, students? Uh, as you see, we get two options, like and dislike. Like is? Yep. Yeah. Um, Gustav, muy bien, and dislike? No, Gustav. Okay, this is Gustav. Muy bien, really good. Entonces, uh, this conversation will be about renting a movie. Va a ser acerca de eh, rentar una película. El hombre le está sugiriendo eh, algunas opciones y la lady le dice ahí si le gusta o no le gusta. ¿Les parece si lo escuchamos una vez más y luego contestamos las questions, right? Ok. Uh, we're going to listen again, then we're going to try to answer these uh, options. Really good. Here we go. Hey, Kathy, I'm thinking about renting a movie for tonight's party and I want to know what kind of movies you like. Ok. What kind of movies do you have in mind? Well, what about action movies? I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. Okay, do you like comedies? Now, I do enjoy comedies. Fine. Well, what do you think of horror movies or love stories? Um, I'm not really crazy about horror movies, but love stories are often fun to watch. Oh, and I really like foreign films, too. Okay, I'll go to the video store and see what I can find. Thanks. Okay, okay, really good. Uh, what's happened now? Did you get it, right? Ahora sí se entendió un poco más. <laughs> yeah. yeah right. So, so. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, students. Uh, they talk about the first an action movie. ¿Le gustaba o no le gustaba a la chica? Dislike. Like. Dislike. Dislike or like? Dislike. Dislike. Like. Like. Dislike. Like. 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 Okay, yeah. Dislike. Dislike. Uh, let's see. Yeah, very good. Uh, what the woman said, Fabricio. ¿Qué dijo la woman? Read, please. Ah, I don't really like action movies. Too much violence. 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 Too, too much violence. Yeah. Eh, no le, así que por eso no le gustan las películas de acción. Hay mucha violence. Just violence. Okay, really good. What about the comedies? Like or dislike? Like. 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 Okay, okay, here we go. Like, right? And yo solo le hago caso a usted. Yeah, very good. Okay, woman, now I do enjoy comedies, movies, right? I do enjoy. Okay, esta estructura es un poco rara, chicos. Eh, I'm gonna try to explain in Spanish, right? Voy a comenzar explicándole muchas cosas en español, luego eh, ya en la segunda semana, full English, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, now I do enjoy comedies. Cuando vean este do es que estamos afirmando. Es una estructura sumamente rara, pero es como cuando nosotros decimos, ah, uh, yo sí hago esto, yo sí hago aquello, right? Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Es una affirmation, right? Yo aquí eh, como que sí me encantan eh, las comedias o las disfruto. Muy bien, really good. What about the horror movies? Dislike. Dislike. Okay. Dislike. Like. Really good. Okay. Veamos qué dice ahí. Dislike. Very nice, Miguel. En Jorge. Good. Tienen buen oído. Yo me fijé. Okay. <laughs> William, can you help me? What did the woman say? Um, oh, I'm not really crazy about 
horror movies. But love stories are often fun to watch. Oh, and I really like foreign films too. Okay, okay, very good. This is the answer for the next question, right? Really good, thank you, William. Okay, what about love movies? Love movies. ¿A quién no le encantan esas películas románticas, right? Más si la estamos viendo ahí eh, con nuestros mamás y, y nuestros padres, right? Okay, very good. Love movies. Like. 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 Okay, very good. Like. Yeah, she said that love stories are often fun to watch. And I really like foreign. Okay, that's not right. What about foreign movies? Like. 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 Okay, okay. Like. Y si todos están de acuerdo, right? Ok, like. Ya lo mencionó ella. Okay. He said that really like foreign films. Really, really good. Ok, students, si ustedes notan, eh, cuando las personas nativas eh, speak English, they speak faster, right? A little bit quickly. Eh, so that's why we have to adapt our listening skill to this kind of person, right? Okay, very good. And I'm gonna go back to the slide presentation. Okay, very good. Eh, ahí Carlos Alfonso se quedó con deseo de participar, but later on you're gonna participate again, don't worry. Okay, that's good. Okay, students, here we go. Uh, we're gonna see something related to grammar, right? Uh, today class, we're gonna see going to going to uh, okay what does it mean going to for you uh -huh. yes for practicing okay mm -hmm. can you say that again please what hey, can you repeat it again it's a verb participle Okay, a present participle. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, in this case, students, uh, as you see here, uh, have you ever seen Will? Will? Ya han visto Will? Yes, the future. Okay, the future, right? Okay, Will is the future, and going to is the future too. What's the difference between these two words? What is the difference? Somebody know the difference? Going to this part is, is continuous. Okay, continuous. <laughs> okay, okay. Really good. Thank you, Miguel. Miguel got the idea, right? Pero este está un poquito más fácil de ver. Es, muy bien. El, el going to es como para decir en el momento las cosas que voy a hacer y el will es al futuro. Okay, okay. In the moment, in the future. Okay, okay. Very good. <laughs> okay, thank you, Fernando. I'm glad to see you here. Okay, Fabricio, you got an idea about this? Uh, will sería como una posibilidad. Okay, okay. Y el going to es, o sea, que, que, que sí lo voy a realizar. Una decisión que se va a decir. Okay, very good. Thank you, Fabricio. Really nice. Okay, students, as you see here, todos tienen una idea similar, right? Eh, estamos en lo correcto, pero vamos a verlo de la forma más easy. Ok, will and going to, los dos, gonna express future, right? Both, right? Pero will, él no significa nada él solito, nada, nothing. Solo va a modificar el verbo a futuro. For example, eh, Gabriela, can you help me to read this? Sentence. Okay. Okay. Uh, rapid decision. Yes. Okay. I'm thirty. Yeah. I think I will buy a drink. Okay. Thank you, Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela, can you help me to translate this sentence? Solo esto. Uh, estoy sediento. 
yo pienso comprar una bebida. Ok, ok, really good. Thank you, Gabriela. Eh, ¿Escucharon ahí la traducción? Pienso comprar. Comprar. This is bad. Comprar en el presente, pero will. Pienso. Compraré. 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 Ok, ok, muy bien. Really good. Eh, de hecho, se pueden utilizar ambos. Pienso comprar, nos está diciendo. O eh, pienso que compraré. También es precio futuro en español, porque el español es eh, mucho más difícil que el inglés, right? Ok, entonces, en this case, students, will significa algo. Básicamente no significa nada, simplemente modifica el verbo a futuro. Compraré, eh, bailaré, I will dance. Eh, uh, what else? Tomaré, I will drink, but water, right? Water. Ok, uh, what else? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I will help. Ayudaré. And so on, right? Ok, Ricky. Entonces, si ustedes ven, es, will, es para futuro, pero solo modifica el verbo. Es para una decisión rápida. Offer, para ofertar algo. Por ejemplo, ofrecer algo. Sorry. Eh, that's look happy. I will help you. Nosotros vemos a una señorita que va cargando algo muy pesado. Los caballeros ahí es lo primero que decimos. Es pesado, puedo ayudarle. Algo futuro. Tal vez se va a hacer en unos dos segundos, pero ya es future time. ¿Ya? Ok. Ok, really good. Eh, also, you can a promise, right? Promise. Eh, ok, help me to read uh, Rodrigo. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Okay, very good, that's a promise, right? Imagine que le he contado yo un secreto muy ahí eh, oscuro de mi vida. Y Rodrigo dice, don't worry, no se preocupe, teacher. I won't tell anyone, or I will not tell. ¿Qué quiere decir eso en español? No lo contaré. No lo contaré o no se lo diré a nadie. Right? Ok. Very good. Also, uh, you can use for treat. Eh, es como para un trato personal con alguien. Eh, ok, let me see, Tatiana. Can you help me to read this? If you don't stop, I will tell your mother. Ok, ok. Really good. Thank you, Tatiana. Le creo. Dice que si, si no, tú, si no, tú no paras, yep. yo diré, ya se lo diré a tu madre. Ok, very good. Todos le temen a eso, right? <laughs> ok, very nice. Eh, se lo diré a tu mamá. Muy bien, Tatiana, really good. Entonces, notan cómo se conjuga will, right? Solo está modificando el verbo a future time. Really good. Ok. Eh, Refusal, right? Cuando ustedes eh, necesitan decir algo en eh, cuestión negativa, we're going to use will not or want. Want. For example, she won't listen to anything I said. Ella no. Ajá. Uh -huh. Escucha. Ok, ella no escuchará. Escuchará. No escuchará. Lo que digo. Ok, muy bien. Está really, really angry, right? Ok, very good. Eh, let's see. We're going to have going to, right? Going to. Aquí viene lo bueno, lo que les quiero explicar. Eh, los dos significan futuro. Se los expreso porque a veces ayuda. Eh, bueno, teacher, usted nos dijo que going to, pero está will también, está show y está este y está el otro. Ok, vamos a ir step by step. Will es futuro, tanto como going to. Pero will nos dice algo que probablemente va a pasar o no va a pasar. Solo nos está modificando el verbo. Bailaré. No es algo que yo tenga planificado. Ah, you're gonna go to the party? Yeah, sure. I will dance. Bailaré. Pueda que encuentre con alguien con quien bailar o oh, no, right? 
Ok, ok, really good. Eh, más cuando me vean bailar. I'm really bad at that. Ok, really good. Uh, let's see, going to. Well, we're going to use going to for a prior plan. Utilizamos going to cuando tenemos un plan previo. Also, we're going to use evidence or signs. Cuando tenemos algún señal o evidencia. En este caso, chicos, going to significa voy a. Keep in mind, please. Voy a. ¿Cómo así? Let's see an example. Eh, Jorge, Alberto, can you help me to read it, please? I'm going to the beach next weekend with my friend. Okay, very good. ¿Qué, qué, qué diría ahí, Jorge? Eh, yo, yo iré a la playa la, el siguiente fin de semana con mis amigos. Ok, ok, very good. Eh, notice what Jorge said, right? Yo iré a la playa. Ok, Jorge, going to significa yo voy a. Voy a, entonces, si sería como usted dice, sería, I will go to the beach, right? I will go, pero aquí está diciendo, I'm going to the beach next weekend with my friends. Entonces, ¿cómo lo traduciría? O voy a la playa. Yo iré. Yo voy a ir a la playa okay, yeah. el siguiente fin de semana. Yo no iré a la playa. Ok, ok. Yo voy a la playa. Yo voy a. Voy a. En este caso, chicos, ¿cuál se escucha más certero? ¿Qué va a pasar? ¿Will o going to? Ok. <ríe> ok. Ok. Uh, will es para algo rápido, así flash, que nosotros decimos, hey, I will help you, te ayudaré. Algo que pasa rápido, no hay un plan previo. Pero cuando utilizamos going to, sí hay un plan previo, hay una evidencia, hay algo que sucede a menudo. Entonces, going to, cuando utilicemos going to, eh, es cuando nosotros estamos seguros que algo va a pasar. Por ejemplo, if you ask a lady, eh, do you want to have a date with me? Si pregunta a una chica que se quiere tener una cita con ustedes, y ella le dice, Yeah, I will go. ¿Qué creen que va a suceder? Es una cita inmediata. Ok, inmediata. Pueda que sí, pueda que... No, right. Yeah, yeah. Pero si ella le dice, yeah, sure, I'm going to go with you. Sí, va a pasar. Va a pasar, muy bien, right. Ahí entendemos ya eh, the meaning of this. Entonces, will es para algo flash rápido. Pueda que pase, pueda que no pase. Y going to es para un plan previo o algo que sí tiene más eh, probabilidad que va a pasar. ¿Se comprende? Un futuro cercano. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Like this. Eh, les digo esto, chicos, porque usted puede utilizar will o going to. Los dos se pueden utilizar en las mismas oraciones. No hay ningún inconveniente. Right? Solo que tienen que tomar en cuenta que con will, eh, the probability you know is lower, but with going to, is higher. Yep. Okay, very good. Okay, we're going to continue with this. And we have um, these things. Okay. We're going to compare these two expressions that express future time. And we have a common question, and it says, are you busy this evening? Are you busy this evening? Busy is? Ocupado. Yeah, yeah, really good. Ocupado. Ocupado, ocupado. Busy. Busy. Ocupado, yes. Okay, eh, cansado sería tired. Okay, nice. Entonces, si alguien le pregunta, are you busy this evening? Eh, posibles respuestas podrían ser, yes, eh, I'm going to the movies. I'm going to the movies, right? Sí, voy a ir a ver una peli. En este caso, ¿va a suceder o no va a suceder? Sí, va a suceder. Okay. Yeah, tiene una probabilidad más alta. 
Eh, pero si le dice algo así como, I think I will probably watch TV. I algo posible. Ok, es algo posible, pero tiene una menos probabilidad. Eh, creo que eh, probablemente pasa, right? Ok, ok, very good. Ok, students, here we go. Uh, you got it this? ¿Se comprende ambos? Yep. Like, yes. like a bata. Yep. Jorge, what about you? Uh -huh, Jorge, I'm sorry. <laughs> Eh, yo entendía que going to be ocupado cuando es un plan como se llama un futuro cercano. Okay. Y si, si se ocupa el will, solo se ocupa will, no hay ningún inconveniente. No, ahí no sé cuál sería la diferencia. Ok, ok, Jorge. Dice que la cambia la probabilidad, pero dice, si yo pienso, y si yo digo, I, I think I'm going to the movie, también estoy diciendo, pues estoy pensando en hacerlo. Okay, okay. Pero si digo, I will watch the movie, This night. Ok, really good. Thank you, Jorge. Ok, veamos ahí. Muy bien. Eh, I'm going to make a feedback about this. Vamos a hacer un pequeño feedback. Así que veamos acá. Will y going to significan lo mismo. The same, right? Solo que going to se traduce voy a hacer cualquier cosa. For example, eh, eh, imagine that I said I'm going to teach English. Yo voy a enseñar inglés, right? Yo voy a enseñar. Yo puedo decir también, I will teach English. Enseñaré inglés. Los dos es un futuro. Probablemente los dos pasen. Pero cuando yo digo going to, hay una probabilidad más alta. Esa es la diferencia. Que con going to... Es un plan previo que usted ya ha tenido. Si usted usa going to, es porque está más seguro de que va a suceder. Obviamente, no es al 100%, pero hay una probabilidad más alta que con will. ¿Y es? No importa que diga I think, yo pienso, eh, o otra expresión. Usted puede utilizar ambos, pero eh, tiene que tomar en cuenta que going to va a ser más certero que will. Ok, Jorge, it's clear. Yeah, okay, very good, nice. Okay, we're gonna continue with this, right? <clears throat> okay, uh, going to, right? We got a going to. Uh, also, you're gonna listen to this word in English, like a gonna, gonna. También lo va a escuchar como gonna. Por ejemplo, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, instead of I'm going to go. Van a escuchar, I'm gonna go, en lugar de, I'm going to go, right? Eso ya es cuando usted escucha a alguien que habla inglés nativo y lo dice súper rápido. Yes? Okay, yeah, this is like a tip, right? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna teach English today. It's an expression, right? Eh, puedo decir lo mismo, I'm going to teach English today. Pero se escucha este movido, I'm gonna teach English today, right? Ok, very good. Ok. Uh, let's see uh, some examples, students. I know that this is a little bit um, boring. Sé que esto es un poquito aburrido, pero ni modo, hay que verlo. Because it's really important. Así que going to. When we have a plans or intention to do things, right? Ok, uh, let's see. Es por obligación, when you use going to, that you have to add the verb be. Tienen que agregar el verbo to be antes del going to. ¿Cómo así? O, what is the verb be? Am, um, are, is. Ok, really good. Cero estar, que significa am, um, is, o are. De acuerdo a los pronombres personales. No te acerca los ejemplos. Ok, eh, si ustedes notan, tenemos oraciones afirmative, right? Eh, notan acá, todas tienen verbo to be. Todas tienen verbo to be. 
y luego going to. No puede ir going to sin el verbo to be. Please take note of this, right? Okay, let's see an example. Uh, <clears throat> Marvin Ernesto, can you help me to read this one? Um, she is going to hit. Okay. She's going Ella irá a comer. Okay. Ella va a ir a comer. Okay. Ella va a ir a comer. Muy bien, really good. Y también usted lo puede decir, she will eat. She will eat. Pero es algo así como, ah, ella comerá. Ya quiere decir otra cosa, ¿verdad? Right. Probablemente va a ir a comer o no va a ir a comer. Ok, really good. Uh, we got the negative way. Ok, what's going to happen with the negative, with going to? Con will vimos que para negarlo solo le poníamos will not o want. Pero con going to vamos a negar con el verbo to be. I'm not, are not, is not. Aren't, isn't. Yeah? Ok, uh, let's see an example. Uh, let me see. Carlos Enrique, tell me to read this one. I am not going to eat. Okay, okay, really good. I am not going to eat, right? Probablemente está en clase ahí sumamente atento y usted no quiere ir a comer por esa razón. Okay, really good. Eh, luego tenemos the interrogative wave, la forma interrogativa. What's going to happen here? We're going to change the position of the verb be. Vamos a cambiar la posición del verbo to be, right? Uh, for example, en lugar de decir you are going to eat, tú vas a ir a comer, preguntamos si va a ir a comer. Ok, veamos ahí cómo se diría, William. Are you going to eat? Ok, yeah, thank you, really good. Ok. And then we got the short answer, we got the affirmative and the negative. En este caso, ¿se recuerdan que les decía, si les preguntan con do, respondan con do, si es short answer, right? En este caso, happen the same uh, if somebody asks you with the, uh, the verb be, am, um, is, or are, you have to answer with am, um, is, or are, right? For example, uh, are you going to eat? Ah, uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Si no voy a ir a comer, no, I am not. Fácil, rápido y sencillo. Cuando ya podamos dar una explicación, nosotros nos lanzamos, right? Yep. Okay, very good. Uh, I don't know if you have a question about this. Questions? No questions? Okay, okay, very nice. Jorge, eh, you got it, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, very nice. Good. Okay, let's continue with this. Um, okay, students, right now we're gonna work on some example that you're gonna find out on the module number four. Uh, is how to use be going to, be going to, right? We're gonna use be going to because instead of be, we're gonna put the verb be, it is am or are, right? Okay, we got the positive and the negative way. Uh, we're gonna take some example about this, and we get uh, the first one. I'm going to give you the information. I'm going to give you the information. Yo voy a darte la información, right? ¿Se escucha qué va a pasar? Yeah. Y que es tal vez una orden o algo que nosotros tenemos que hacer en nuestro trabajo. Pero si es algo así que pueda que se la dé o que no se la dé, I'll give you the information. Ah, sí, te daré la información, no te preocupes. Entonces, este se escucha como más certero, más formal, pega más. En cuestiones formales se usa más going to, right? Ok, very good. Uh, let's see some negative expression. In this case, we're gonna take the same example. I am not going to give you the information. No voy a darte la información, right? Se escucha pesado, pero a veces tenemos prohibido eh, to give uh, confidential information, right? Y tenemos otros muchos examples, pero because of the time, eh, we're gonna 
jump to this activity. Vamos a adelantarnos con la actividad por el tiempo. Así que now, please think, right? You have to think. What are you going to do at your workplace tomorrow, right? Tienen que pensar qué van a hacer en su lugar de trabajo mañana. ¿Cómo así? For example, eh, imagine that, uh, let me see, eh, Gabriela me dice, teacher, what are you going to do at your workplace tomorrow? Entonces yo comienzo, ah, Gabriela, eh, I am going to teach English. Eh, also, I am going to drink water, right? <laughs> And so on, right? Y comienzo a explicar. Al menos necesito cinco cosas que ustedes vayan a hacer tomorrow, right? Luego se preguntan esta con las oraciones que ustedes tengan, tienen que enlazarlas con las palabras de enlace. And also, in addition, then, las que vimos yesterday class, right? Okay, here, what we're gonna do? Yes? Okay, okay, here we go, we're gonna work in groups. Uh, so try to do your best. Okay, okay, really good. <laughs> okay, very nice. Let me see the students. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's work together on that and try to practice each other, right? I'm gonna write the questions on the chat. Voy a escribirles la pregunta en el chat. Okay, go ahead. Try to help each other. Intenten ayudarse entre ustedes mismos, chicos, en los grupos que hagamos. Eh, apóyense de las personas que don't understand how to do something, right? Okay, go ahead. Hello, do you have a question? You can ask me. I'm gonna be here if you need help. Estamos preparando la lo que haríamos. <laughs> Okay, okay, very good. Okay, continue working. I'm gonna check the uh, open group, right? Okay, teacher. Okay, hello, guys. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Are you working? I'm fine, fine. Okay, okay very good. If you need help, I'm gonna be here. Okay, I'm gonna check another group, right? 
Hello. Are you working? You're still working? <laughs> Don't think too much, right? Okay. Uh, old stops. And so, Okay, very good. Okay, students, continue working. I'm gonna go to another group. I don't know if you have a questions. No questions. Mm. All right, everything is clear. Nice. Very good students. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hello, guys. Hi. Hello, hello. Oh, are you working so hard, right? <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you have a questions about this. No questions? For a moment, no. No, right? Okay, very good. Okay, students, uh, I'm going to go to another group. I'll be back in a minute when you are ready to practice. Okay. Okay, okay. okay teacher. Okay. Hello, guys. How are you today? Are you working on the exercise? Hi, teacher. Me voy llegando que le pedí permiso cinco minutos. Yeah. Solo estaba Carlos, creo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Eh, ya sabe qué vamos a hacer, right? Sí, vamos a practicar el going to y el will. Okay, I will. But in this case, only going to. Just going to. Okay. okay. I'm going to make water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so do I. I'm going to drink water, right? <laughs> yes, teacher. It's very hot this day. Today is really hot. Yes. <clears throat> okay, Carlos Mejia, do you have questions? No questions? Muy bien la, la, el ejercicio. Ok, muy bien, muy really bien. Que lo veamos ahí. Me llega ahí que seamos a uh, really honest, right? Ok, vamos a poner aquí en the slide presentations, right? Eh, básicamente eh, vamos a hacer oraciones de cosas que vayamos a hacer mañana en nuestro trabajo. Ah, okay. right? Con going to, ¿por qué going to? Voy to expresa un futuro. Voy a. Por ejemplo, eh, Carlos me dice, eh, teacher, piense que mañana yo voy a darle una información importante. Usted me va a decir, teacher. I am going to give you information important. Yeah, really good. Like this, right? Así como eso, tan simple como eso. Entonces... Wow. Eh, van a pensar en algunas cinco cosas que ustedes tienen que hacer mañana, las van a anotar, y al terminarlas de redactar, eh, cada uno se va a hacer la pregunta. Eh, for example, Fernando, le va a consultar a usted, eh, Carlos Mejía, what are you going to do at your workplace tomorrow? Carlos le va a contestar lo que vas a hacer, y in the other way around, right? Ok, thank you, teacher. Welcome. Recuerden utilizar el verbo to be siempre con going to, am, is, o are, dependiendo de los pronombres que se utilicen. En este caso, como usted solo va a hablar de usted, sería I am going to. Esto y esto y esto y esto. Right. 
Okay. Eh, Thank you. If you need help, I'm going to be here. Si necesitas ayuda, I'm going to be here for you, right? Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Uh, continue working. I'm going to go to another group. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, very good. <laughs> ready? Okay. Not yet. We have to ask each other uh, the questions. So that's very good in the chat. What are you going to do at your workplace tomorrow, right? Y la otra persona tiene que contestar lo que hicieron. Recuerden poner las palabras de enlace. Eh, connected words are very important because you want to express your idea in an easy way. Hay sus ideas en una forma rápida, efectiva. You're going to sound like a gringo, right? Okay, very good. <clears throat> Okay, let's uh, get started with this activity. Okay, vamos a ver. Comencemos a practicar. Vamos, here we go. Este, le pregunto entonces yo, Carlos Enrique, y después me pregunta usted a mí. Ok. Eh, inicio entonces. What are you going to do at your workplace tomorrow? Yes, I am, I am going to my work also. Have C projects. One, two. I am going to a meeting in addition to speak with my boss. Okay. Three. I am going to visit some projects. And the afternoon I will make a report. Four. I am going to see a construction plans. Going a project. Um, five. I'm going to see my. Uh, emails. Okay. For morning. Ahí me quedé. <laughs> okay, okay. Very good. Nice. Pero está bien. Está bastante bien. Yeah, yeah. Really good. It's understandable. Now, Carlos, please ask to William. Uh, Perdón, perdón. Eh, what are you going to do at work at your work place tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm going to how to make the row of travel of the dispatches of the career and I'm going to make calls to the clients. I'm gonna also have to make quotation, okay. quotation of the clients and carry out technical consultancies. Okay. Really good, nice. So, what I wanted to say is that tomorrow I have to do the route of the dispatchers, the transportists. Yeah. Enviaré llamadas a los clientes, también tendré que hacer citas a los clientes y realizar consultorías, consultorías técnicas. Ok, ok, muy nice. Thank you, Williams. Eh, tomorrow is going to be a hard day for you, right? <laughs> <laughs> ok, muy nice. 
Ok, eh, now uh, William, pregúntele a Jorge y vamos a contestar porque Jorge got a problem with the microphone. Se la voy a contestar, ya me las escribió acá. Así que ask the questions. A Jorge, ¿verdad? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Jorge, este, what are you going to do at your workplace tomorrow? Jorge said, I'm going to go at office. Then I'm going to have a meeting. I'm going to do stat statistic later. And I'm going to answer the phone. And I'm going to help a client, right? Okay, very good. Nice. Thank you, Jorge. Really nice work. Okay, students, as you see, eh, Jorge me enlaza bien las oraciones. Eso es genial, Jorge. Good. Congratulations. Eh, de esa forma se escucha más eh, prolongada y unen todas las eh, ideas que ustedes tienen, right? Okay. Eh, so, continue practice each other. We, we're going to have a couple of minutes more. Eh, I'm going to back in a minute. Thank you. Really good. Thank you. Thank you. Also, I am going to take where at Oasis. Sometime I'm going to buy lunch and frequently I am going to drink coffee with bread at the office in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Café con pan en la tarde. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> okay, Jose Angel. What are you going? Oh, Marvin, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Marvin, uh, what are you going to do at your workplace tomorrow? Uh, I'm going to have my coffee early. I'm going to send some documents. Uh, I'm going to get up early. I'm going to greet my partner and I have lunch with them. I'm going to read a new book of legal laws. Laws. Para decir leyes, profesor. Oh, law. Law. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Really good, nice. Now, please ask to Jose Angel. <laughs> he wants to participate too, right? Ya nos preguntamos los tres. Ah, se preguntar. Okay, okay, very good. Yeah. Okay, students, uh, congratulations. Really, really good work. Okay. Um, Continúen practicando. Voy a ir a otro grupo, así que... ¿cómo? Teacher, question. Yeah, tell me. Cuando digo voy a tomar el, el desayuno al trabajo, está yeah. bien así. I am going to have breakfast. Yeah. I'm going to have. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Really good. Nice. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, bye. I'll be back in a minute. La inglés, pero que lo aprendió diferente a como alguien que ya lo habla nativo, totalmente diferente. Hello. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's really different, right? <laughs> Rodrigo. Okay. Good. Did you practice already? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Okay, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, right? Uh, Gabriela, what are you going to do tomorrow? Are you work? Um, I'm going to check my emails. Okay. Also, I'm going to go to a meeting. Before that, I'm going, I'm going to, pay, to pay the payroll. Yeah. Then I'm going to send reports and... I'm going to back to my house early. Okay. It's Friday. <laughs> yeah, because it's Friday, right? You're going to go early. Really good. Okay, now, Tatiana, uh, what are you going to do tomorrow? I am going to give information in my experience. It's very important. Yeah. I am going to drink water in my ca house. Is my important for my health. I am going to drink milk and eat cookies. Mm -hmm. I am going to eat a, eat very early, mm -hmm. but I will not eat much. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, thank you, Tatiana. <laughs> really good work. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go with Rodrigo. Uh, what are you gonna do tomorrow? Tomorrow at 8 a.m. I'm going to take off the seat of my motorcycle and fix it because it's a little bit uncomfortable. Then I'm going to reinstall an engine and change a spark plug in a car. Okay. At the end of the day, I'm going to go back to my house. Okay, for the gift. Thank you, Rodrigo. Nice. Okay, um, as I see with you guys, congratulations. Everyone of you uh, got a previous knowledge according to their own area, right? Because uh, Gabriela knows a lot of things about uh, accountant things and Tatiana. <laughs> To and Rodrigo, something related to cars and motorcycles. That's really good. Amazing. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, students, uh, if you want, you can continue practice each other. And I'm going to go to another group. Thank you so much. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. finish, finish. Acaban de finalizar, okay, let's go. Okay, did you practice already? Yeah. I'm ready. Okay, ya practicaba, you Yes, yes. Okay, um, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, right? About the same, uh, Miguel Crespin, what are you going to do tomorrow? Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to supervise the, to the group and I'm going to drink coffee. Yeah. Also, I'm <laughs> going to practice to English le lessons and I'm going to collect my payments, it's important. And I'm going to do the month report. Okay, okay, very good. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. And Miguel, drink, drink coffee, drink coffee, yeah. always. You really like coffee, right? Everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's more important. Yeah. Okay, very nice. And now we're going to go with Fabricio. Uh, what are you going uh, to do tomorrow at your workplace? Uh, I'm going to work tomorrow from home. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to the clean my PC from all files. Yeah. And I I'm go, and I'm going to work meeting tomorrow. And additionally I'm going to delivery a model to a con time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it, Fabrizio. Thank you. Okay, now uh, I'm going to ask you to Carlos. Carlos, what are you going to do tomorrow? I am tomorrow is have a meeting in Zoom. Okay. Also visit to clients. Okay. Uh, and... I'm going to get, get a morning yeah. and make a month in report. Okay. You're gonna make a month in report. Okay. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Solo lo último no sé si está bien. Lo yeah. último no sé si está bien, así que la, hacer reportes de fin de mes. Si yeah. está bien. bien. Yeah, sure. I'm going to make the monthly report. Monthly report. Monthly. Um, yeah. Monthly. Yeah. Okay. Monthly. I'm going to make. Not monthly. I'm going to make a monthly report. Yeah, really good. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, guys, congratulations! You did it really, really, really good, right? Okay, so uh, continue practice each other. I'm gonna go to the last group. Okay. okay. Nice job. Okay. okay, hello. Did you practice? Yes. Yeah, sure, several times. <laughs> okay, 
Regit. Uh, can you practice again? I would like to listen to you. Um, cualquiera, no sé si. Pero tienen que preguntarse, right? What are you going to do tomorrow? Ay, que entre nosotros nos preguntamos y así. Pregúnteme, Carlos. Pregúnteme. Okay, okay. What, uh, what are you going to do tomorrow at your workplace? I'm going to make report. I'm going to meeting with my boss. I I'm going to celebrate the of, of my work, compañero de trabajo, co uh, co 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 worker. Yeah, co worker. Co worker. Okay. I I will go. Well, I'm going to. I'm going to visit my customer. Okay. I'm going to meeting with my customer. Va a aprovechar el viaje. Very good. Nice. Okay, that's it, right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay now uh, Fernando asked to Carlos Mejia. What do you do? What are you going? What do you going? Okay, what? What are you going? Are you going to do to do tomorrow? Tomorrow workplace. Okay, yeah. Traba la lengua. I'm going. I am going to do my work report. I'm going to share a lunch my coworker. I'm going to do shopping at the supermarket. Eh, claro, eh, eh, pediré permiso en el trabajo para ir a hacer una compra. Ah, sí, sí, es que mi compañero me, me hizo esa observación. Ah, pues sí. uh, I'm going to have dinner with my boss. I'm going to fly my weekend. Ok, muy bien. Ok, that's it. Yeah, yeah, very good. Okay, students, uh, congratulations. You did it really, really nice. I like it, right? Okay, okay. thank you, Okay, you're welcome. Questions? No questions? No, um, no, no, no. No, teacher. In this moment, no. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Congratulations, students. Okay, hello Daisy. Buenas noches. Good evening. <laughs> Hola. How are you today? I think. Hola. Hola. <laughs> He tenido He tenido mucho problema en ingresar y, y he estado un poquito mal de salud, por eso no me había estado conectando. Ok, Daisy. But uh, now you're welcome to our class. Don't worry. Pero ok, que... thank you. Ok, uh, we're going to learn something new together right today. Ok. Eh, ok, we're going to wait for the rest of the students. Now wait a minute. I hope you practice uh, with your friends, right? I know that you talk about many things that you have to do tomorrow at your workplace, right? Drink coffee, uh, water, go to the supermarket, <laughs> and several things, right? That's amazing. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Eh, mientras descansamos todas esas ideas que ya hemos dado en esta clase, eh, vamos a pasar lista again, right? Para los que no eh, escucharon. <ríe> ok, let me see. 
Yeah, this one. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let me check this. Okay, Wendy, Wendy, are you there? Okay, Wendy. No, right? Wendy, Sarai, Moni, Ordoñez? No, she's not here. Okay, really good. Uh -huh. Uh, Fernando de Jesus Roldan Torres. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, no lo habíamos visto, Fernando. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, really good. Uh, Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla Vasquez. Present teacher. Okay, really good, Rodrigo. Uh, Daisy Elizabeth Resino. Okay, Daisy, are you? Okay, very nice, Daisy. Daisy is an example to seguir. Ella está en, en muy eh, ahí con problemas de salud y aún así se conecta. Eso me motiva mucho. And I really like that, Daisy. Congratulations, eh, Marvin Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Marvin, really good. Okay, eh, Carlos René Herrera. Carlos René Herrera. No, right. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. The attendance list now is ready. Great. Okay, we're going to continue with today's class, students. Uh, because of the time, we're going to have uh, 15, 15 minutes more. Así que continuemos, right? Okay, I don't know if you have a question about going to right now. No questions? Veo que todos manejamos muy bien el going to. Eh, Jorge nomás me hacía la observación ahí que cuando vamos a utilizar will o going to. Eh, ambos lo pueden utilizar para expresar un futuro, solo que going to es más certero. ¿sí? Lleva una probabilidad más alta. Ambos, cuando hablamos de futuro, Recuérdense que no podemos asegurar nada. No podemos dar por hecho, right? Porque it's the future. Y son cosas que a veces se nos salen de la mano. But, eh, si nosotros decimos going to, es porque eh, tenemos un plan previo. For example, you talk about your workplace. Hablaron de sus lugares de trabajo, right? Mencionaron cosas que ustedes ya han hecho y saben que tienen que hacer mañana. ¿Sí? No es que tal vez las haga, Ay, si me dan ganas las voy a hacer. No, right. You have to do it, yes or yes. Yep. Okay, very good. <laughs> I'm going to continue with this. And now we're going to check it out if you understand, if you really understand be going to. Vamos a ver si comprendieron en efecto el uso de be going to. Recuérdense que siempre que tenemos be going to, Vamos a poner el verbo to be at the beginning, right? Am, um, is, or are. Yes? Okay. Very good. I, I know that you move your head like this. Yeah. You understand, right? <laughs> Very good. Okay. What you're going to do here? You have to uh, put the words in order, right? Tienen que ordenar todo este montón de palabras desordenadas y luego responder esta pregunta. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute. Please check everything with questions and try to give a possible answer. One minute. Go ahead. Focus on this. You have to order these words and then answer each one of them. Recuérdense que si tienen WH word, va at the beginning, va de primero. WH word, where, who, when, yeah, like this. Okay, 30 seconds. Okay, time is over. 
we're going to practice these uh, questions, right? Okay, students, here we go. Uh, the first one who wants to try it, you can intentarlo. Any volunteers? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let, 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 let me here. Uh, Jorge uh, Alberto ya nos dio la respuesta. Jorge, congratulations. Uh, pero tiene problems with uh, his microphone, right? Así que se la voy a leer. Jorge dice que la primera quedaría, where are they going to pick up the packages, right? Mm -hmm. Where are they going to pick up their package, right? Ok, notemos esta palabra, pick up, pick up, right? Rodrigo no va a entender, eh, because he's a mechanic, right? Pick up es un vehículo que tiene una camita atrás, pero que también significa recoger algo, right? Tomar algo. Yes, por eso lleva ese nombre, that's car, right? Pick up. Jorge nos dio la, la pregunta, la organizó, where are they going to pick up the package, right? Okay, así que Jorge, congratulations. Right now, I need the answer. Ahora necesito la respuesta to these questions. Okay, who got it? Fabricio, you got it? The answer? Yes. Uh, yes, they going to. Okay, yes. Uh, they, pick up package. They, they. They, yes, they going to package. Okay, okay, muy bien. Really good, Fabrizio. Pero aquí Fabrizio is missing something. Yes, uh, yes. They are. Yes, are they. Okay. No. Yes, they are. Yeah, yes, yeah. they are. <laughs> going to package. <laughs> okay, going to pick up the package. Okay, really good. Thank you, Mauricio. Really nice work. Okay, okay. Fabrizio okay. ahí se, se la jugó muy bien. Eh, nos dio la idea, luego la pulió, luego le hay su plan, yes. and so on, right? Uh, we're going to work as a team. Vamos a trabajar como un equipo, así que vamos muy bien. A possible answer could be they are going to pick up the package at. Acá agregamos un lugar, el que ustedes quieran. At my house, at my, I don't know, at my room, whatever you want, right? Aquí lo que ustedes quieran poner. Okay, really good. Okay, we're going to continue with question number two. Fabricio, please give me a name. Rodrigo. Okay, Rodrigo. Rodrigo Alexander. Thank you. Okay, Rodrigo. Who is going to receive the shipping? Okay, very good. Like this, right? Possible answer? Uh, Maria is going to receive the shipping. Okay, very good. Nice. In this case, uh, Maria is going to receive the uh, chippings. Really good, Rodrigo, nice. Okay, you got it, right? Really good. Okay, Rodrigo, give me a name. It could be a lady if you want. All right. Con quien trabajé, Gabriela. Okay. Oh my God, <laughs> la traición. <laughs> Okay. Um, when, when is going to arrive the new material? Okay, really good. When is going to arrive the new material? Really good. Okay. Okay, in this case, uh, Gabriela, you can use both, right? Pueden utilizar ambos. Eh, lo he puesto así, también, because you can say, when is the new material going to arrive? Both. Really good. Okay, possible answer? Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, really good. <laughs> the new material is going to arrive tomorrow. tomorrow, right? Yeah, congratulations, really good. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. 
really, really nice. Okay, students, I don't know if you have a question about this. Questions? No questions? Okay, very good. Uh, okay, did you remember that we were talking about shipping label? Shipping label, right? Shipping label. Las etiquetas, ¿se recuerdan? Okay, very good. Uh, you have to create a shipping label, right? For tomorrow. Para la clase de mañana, hágase una etiquetita así pequeñita. Uh, you can write it. And tomorrow, at the very beginning, we're going to start with this activity. Mañana, a primera hora, vamos a iniciar con esta actividad. Tienen que haber creado una etiqueta de envío. From, to, de quién, para quién, para dónde va, tracking number, el producto, quantity, and the date, y la fecha, right? Bien facilito. Algo que pueden hacer en unos dos, two minutes, right? Okay. For tomorrow, you have to, uh, you have to do that homework. Okay, very good. Questions? No questions? Okay, really like this group because never get a questions. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, if you don't have any questions, the students, uh, we're gonna practice together. But I got a question for you. Tengo una questions ahí para ustedes. Ya hicieron las tareas? Free homeworks? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. The free ones. So, oh, solo dos, okay. Eh, ¿Quién no ha hecho ninguna? Be honest. No puede, no puede I need copy, idea. teacher. Okay. Okay, okay. You need copy, right? Okay. Eh, ¿Por qué no he podido hacer ahí, Fernando? No, no puedo hacerlas, pero mañana me pongo al día. Ok, ok, ya, yeah, really good. Recuerden, sí, chicos, necesito tener eso porque mañana cuadro notas de esta semana. Necesito tener las cinco tareas, ¿sí? ¿yes? Y eh, he notado que en mi discussion box, en, el, en, el, en la caja ahí de discussions, eh, algunos sí he comentado, otros no. And so on, right? Please add a sentence or a question. Por favor, agreguen una pequeña pregunta o una oración simple de la que hemos visto, right? Eso es todo lo que van a hacer, no se van a tomar ni one or two minutes. Ok, very good. Eh, ¿Quién más no ha hecho las tareas? Yo, una. <laughs> ok, Carlos Alfonso, solo una. Only one, only one. Only one, yeah. <laughs> Ya es un avance, right? Ahí vamos a terminar. Ok, eh, ok, very good. ¿Quién más? Yo, tío. Ay, teacher. Yo solo dos he hecho. Ok, two, but two, it's ok. It's ok, very good. ¿Quién no ha hecho ninguna? Ninguna. Y lo, lo de ahora quedaría pendiente. Ok, muy bien. ¿Y qué, quién no ha hecho ninguna tarea? No, oh, teacher, no, ninguna. Ok, why, Carlos? No, yo las tres he hecho, pero no he comentado el, el, el foro oh, de ayer. Ok, nice. Ok, Carlos Mejía, ¿por qué no, no ha hecho ninguna? Oh, llegan. Yo de doctor tiempo he llegado cada okay. hora de la clase, pero mañana espero ponerme al día. Ok, ok, eh, pero sí puede acceder a la platform, ¿verdad? Right? Sí, sí, nunca que ya llego justo a tiempo a la clase, ¿verdad? entonces ya okay, no. okay. Ok, no, no hay problema, Carlos. Eh, intenta hacerlo ahora o mañana, ya que mañana eh, tengo que cuadrar la nota y si no han hecho las tareas, esa nota faltaría. Entonces, les perjudicaría a ustedes, güey. Eh, y no es la idea, son muy buenos estudiantes. Les quiero poner 10, pero eso va a depender de ustedes, güey. Eh, a veces quiero poner 11, 12, but I can't. <laughs> ok, really good. Ok, eh, José Ángel Santos. Sí, yes, eh, I can help you. Eh, I don't not, eh, open activity number three. Usted abre la tarea número tres. Ok, ok, muy bien. Ok, very good. José Ángel, ahí vamos, ahí vamos. 
Okay, let me see. Daisy, uh, she's sick, but I, I don't know if you have time, Daisy, to do the homework. Okay, <laughs> Daisy, are you there? Okay, very good. Yeah. Yes, hola. Yeah, yeah, Daisy. You did the homework? Necesito ponerme al día, pero no he podido porque no he estado tan, okay. tan al cien. Ok, ok, Daisy, comprendo. Sí. Ok, okay eh, si puede, mañana, work on the five homeworks. Yes, bien? yes, tomorrow. Ok, ok, very good. Eh, las homeworks no les van a tomar más de dos minutos, así que no se preocupen. It's gonna be easy. If you have a question, you can... Ask me through WhatsApp, right? Me, the teacher, this question, I don't understand anything. When you explain the class, I didn't understand anything. Can you explain me that again? Y con gusto se lo vuelvo a explicar, right? Yeah? Okay, no tengan miedo, pena, estoy aquí para ustedes. Eh, es gracias a ustedes que estoy acá, así que aprovechen. That time, this time is for you. I'm going to be here for you. Así que, eh, please, don't be shy, right? Okay, let's see. Okay, we are about to finish today's class. Eh, ya hicimos la tarea, así que, we're going to continue. <laughs> okay, eh, you're going to create the chip label right like this. Así van a crear su... Eh, Etiqueta para mañana, right? Shipping label, right? Para mañana. From, recuérdese, de la persona que lo envía o la empresa, invéntese una o usen la de ustedes. Where you work, to, hacia quién va dirigido o la dirección. Tracking number is really important. Así que inventing one. Quantity, you can add product, you can add uh, more information, right? Ok, pueden agregar más información si ustedes desean. Ok, very good. Uh, you have to name a company, right? You can use your own company. Imagine an specific product. Imagínense un producto en específico. Uh, for example, if you want to sell uh, TVs or cars or motorcycles, I don't know, drones, uh, iPhones, uh, and so on, right? Okay, then you have to think on the shipping and mailing address. Eh, la dirección de donde salió y hacia quién va dirigida. Esto está acá. And add relevant information as the example. Agreguen información relevante. Si ustedes quieren agregarle más información, you can do it, right? Yep. Okay, students, everything is clear? Yeah. Everything is clear. Everything is clear. Yeah. Yeah, like a, orchata, right? like a Coca Cola, really good. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, we um, did this. Ya hicimos eso. Las tareas, the homework. Remember, you can uh, access to the platform and look for the homework number four. You have to choose the correct alternative. Estas indicaciones me gustan porque dicen que van a elegir la alternativa correcta. A veces elegimos la que no es correcta, but you know, we have to work on that homework. Really good. And also, students, uh, please write a comment or a sentence or a question, whatever you want, on the discussion box, right? Esta es la clase de ayer, eh, third class, right? We were talking about can for information and possibility. Si ustedes notan, all the time we look handsome and pretty, right? All the time. Look at Jorge, me, right? Eh, Tatiana, <laughs> Gabriela, <laughs> and so on, right? You look so handsome. Eh, this is uh, Miguel. Uh -huh, and so on, right? All of you, look Fabricio. 
look like a model, right? <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Ok, students, por favor comenten en ese cuadro de discusión una pregunta, una oración, un comentario, whatever you want about the class, right? Ok, questions. Questions? Do you want to go to sleep? <laughs> What's the movie? <laughs> yeah. Okay, everybody's waiting. Okay, that's it for today, class. It's a pleasure to see you today. Bye bye, take care. And go to sleep, right? You can watch Netflix another day. <laughs> okay, bye bye, take care. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye, right, guys. See you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. <laughs> okay, sweet dreams, yeah.